Hello everyone, this is Johannes and this is Cinema and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. Welcome back to Keep or Cull where we play all the games and decide whether we want to keep them or cull them. That is true, today we have 12 games for you. Some smaller games, mostly smaller games, some bigger games, mostly newer-ish games, mm -hmm. and some older games. Blue so mix. we are just going to jump right into the keeping and the culling, which is the main part of this video. So let's start. Do you want to begin with the first game on your pile? Yes, it's a smaller game. It's Synergy. Yes. This is a game we picked up at Spiel, it is. but we haven't played it before now. Uh, this is a card game cooperative where you're trying to play different numbers and math them together to mm, like fulfill a criteria mm -hmm. and it, it's get, get like harder and harder missions the first time when you when you explain the rules and the first time we played it i was just like this seems just like random um, uh, we forgot to do the paddle thing. Yes, I'm sensing that, so yes. let's do that because I was thinking, why are you still speaking with no paddle? Yes, let's I was go. just like, what? This is part of the, it's been like two months since you did Keeper I was like, is there something I'm missing about yes. this? Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom! It's a double keep. Now I can say what I think yes. about it. So say the whole thing again. Yes. This is a game about picking up a spiel. Well, it first felt like really random when we started learning and starting playing but mm -hmm. then we got like oh but there is actually a lot to think about here and makes sense and if you play it a lot with the same group you can have like code way of thinking Meta. yes i'm looking forward <clears throat> to play this more i agree it's great next up on my side is another small game from spiel it's called curiae the duel it's two player only duel game in a small little pouch. And now we're gonna do the paddle. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom! Double cow. Double cow. This was okay. It's a small two player game. It's easy to teach, easy to learn. It has some decisions, but it's very, not very interesting. It's like um, a, a programming kind of game where you just program two cards mm -hmm. and it's like a head-to-head -head abstract game. I would rather play, what do you call it, the, the, the... I don't know because I have no idea what you're talking about. No. I would rather play... Another game. This game. Please. If you understand what this is, let us know in the comments. Yes. It's a two-player game, I'm guessing. Yeah. Where, where is this? I was thinking like that it's not called Tokaido. It's the, the, the Onitama. No, it's not There's that There's a game either. called Onitama, but what are you doing with this? It's, what is this? It's a rectangular box where you flip it and flap it open. So Onitama then. Okay, yes. yes. That one. Because in the I was thinking about something in the game where you did this. <laughs> I, I have no idea what that was. So we're going to call this one. Yes. And we have another one on your side. It's Cheers to the Governor. The most worst thing ever okay. okay are you ready yes one two three boom it's a double call i read the rules to this and i was thinking <laughs> why and then i was like who am i gonna play this with and then we managed to play i was like i brought like can we please play this so we can get it played yeah you were kind of dreading playing this because it's learning. nothing. Yeah, but this is just like a um, um, card gamification of the like we call it like a um, get to know each other like game that you can just like make up when you make meet new people that you go around. I don't around know how you get around. to know anyone with this game, but and uh, you're assigning <laughs> like a gesture or another word or something to a letter or in this case a number. I don't know. I don't understand why they had to make this a game because you can just like easily just like oh come up with something yes. themselves but this is for people with no creativity maybe. We haven't like really explained what to do in this game. So this game oh, you I have... kind of explain it. Mm, kind of. Kind you of. have numbers from 1 to 26 or something like that. 34 million. You're gonna say them. So 21. let's say we're gonna play a two-player game. It's gonna sound like this. And we say 1, two, three, four, and up to 21. And then I get to draw a card and a number card. I don't find a number of cards. And let's say 21 and name a band. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna just count one to 21 again. But when 21 comes around, you have to name a band. Beatles. And then you continue doing that until you don't want to do it more, which is basically but after like, five minutes. And then if I don't remember that uh, the number five, I had to clap my hands. Yes. What happens then? The nothing. Nothing. Happens. 
It's not a game. It's 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 nothing. It's, a, it's an activity. It's it's. We fine. did laugh, but mostly because it was, it was horrible. Stupid. Okay. Yeah. Next up, we're gonna have another small game called Switchbacks. This is a couple of years old, but it's it's re recently released again with all play the new. It had a a backing of the new version of Drew the Desert and a message on the stars and Switchbacks. We're gonna do a separate videos probably on the other two. Mm, Switchbacks is a little. Two to four player game that says it's one minute to teach and it's like 15 minutes to play and I think that's kind of accurate. And it has a paddle in it. It's looked like this. Let's do the paddle thing. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, paddle! Double calling. But it's a fun game. It is. I agree. I, um, I, I, I would have <clears throat> liked to keep it if we hadn't so many games. So I like. If you had zero games, would you I keep would it? I would keep it then. But then you would have not had zero games because you had this. Yes, I couldn't keep it then. No. Well, but I, I like the game, but I just don't have the time to play it. So, so yeah. You're placing tiles with hikers on them. The number they have numbers from one to thirty-six or something like that. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven, almost, and then. You you get to, you had to try to place hikers on tiles, which then can have like an, a number, like a uh, sequence of numbers, at least four numbers. And then you kind of play together with all players, but you try to make it so that you are the one that get the most points. And it's it's a fine little. It game. feels to me like a little like a no thanks because then you don't know because okay. if you have the sequence of cards, it's mm -hmm. just a lower value that counts or something in mm -hmm. no thanks. But in this game also, you're trying to set yourself up to making the sequences, but not make it obvious that like don't go hard into it because then people will try to play the the, I don't the tile see how it's another place. You don't get the sequence. Because all there are four people having different numbers. Yeah. But with two it was better, I thought, but still just a fine game. Next up we have The Walking Dead, the dice, the game. dice game. Please let me know the designer of this game. Who is it? It doesn't say? No. Weird. It's not on the box. Okay. It's a very... it's... it's weird. Okay. Let's do the paddle. Let's do it. One, two, three, boom! Curling! Curling! All the way. Yes. It's... Uh, it's... it's a push luck game. It's fine. There's really nothing to say. Like, it's a fine push luck game. You can play it with unlimited people. I don't know why you would do that, because you have to wait every time it's not your turn and there's nothing you will do. So you're just... so it's basically a game if you are ten people and you don't really want to play a game, but one person wants to play a game. And then you can speak most of the pop, most of the time, and then sometimes you have to roll some dice. Yeah, uh, you have like different colored dice. <clears throat> some are better than the others. Yes. And when it's your turn, you draw a zombie card or some other encounter card, and you try to defeat it mostly. And then you decide how many dice you will spend mm -hmm. to to conquer that, and you're trying to then push your luck. It was fine, but I would rather play zombie dice. It takes less time. Oh yeah. Then we have Clash of Magic Schools. This is a game from a person called Uwe Rosenberg. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And also Hagen Dorgarten. Okay, cool. This is a remake, or I, I don't know if there's any changes, of a game called Bobble, which came out quite a few years ago, and this is like a more vibrant colored thing. Let's see if it's fun. Yes. I know if it is, and you don't know yet if you haven't played it, but we will tell you. One, two, three, boom. That will go. It's very boring. But yes. actually, on our recent Uwe Rosenberg game video, one person said that Bubble was his favorite Uwe Rosenberg oh, game. Oh, okay. So it might just not be for us, but it was very boring. You're playing cards on your side, and it's very random, and you have to just randomly have luck. There is probably more things you can do, but it felt like in this genre of two players games so you play cards on one side trying to like do these different battlegrounds there's other games like i would rather play hanami koji mm, shot and Tot and lost cities yes. all of these i'd rather play than this even though like, this might this is longer and for me just more boring yeah they have like several layers of luck just on both like the student cards that you mm. play to both get like a power in power in that that uh, area yeah. and also used to manipulate <laughs> the the game with special abilities but you also have luck in drawing of these like quests trials, trials yeah. that you have to compete and you can just like be in a situation where you work i feel like really hard to get a lot of these trials in one place 
and your opponent just like eh, takes them away. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't rewarding for me. No, it was not something for us. It looks nice. Yeah. So it, it was that. And next up is Fisheries of Gloucester. I would guess it's Gloucester. Gloucester? Gloucester. Gloucester. I don't know. That's Fisheries a hard of Gloucester. Gloucester. Some place. Of this place. And it's a two player game. Yes. It's from Steve Finn. Mm -hmm. And now we have the paddle. Cool. One, two, three. Boom! Double cowl. Yes. We uh, played many good games this uh, <laughs> this time. I think uh, this was interesting. In this game we have like uh, action points, kind mm -hmm. of, and yeah. you spend them to... Uh, you can place these like still water. Yes. Basically places you can move your boats. And you can move your boats, you can fish, you try to fish the right fishies so you can turn them into points yes and abilities and you're trying to like position yourself so that you can have your uh, the edge of your opponent at all times so that kind of interaction was fun but it stopped there for me yeah it's a fine game i i'm, I'm we played it it's, yes, it's we there played it. i don't need to play it again next we have tokaido duo are you ready yes one Two, three, boom. Boom. Double cow. I never liked Tokaido. Me neither. I like this better than I like Tokaido. Me too. I think this was a pretty fun game. You have three different characters that are moving different ways on the board. You're drafting dice. The dice basically tells you if you can do that character. You're blocking the other player because if you say, oh, they can do a very good move. I might try to take that die to do another move so that they don't get to do it. You're trying to collect different things depending on different characters that you move around and trying to score points with the different characters. I felt like you would kind of go heavy for one character and then like do a little bit of support characters. Yes. I enjoyed it. And this is like one, if we played more games that we played before, mm -hmm. if we played two player games more and more often wanted like a lighter experience, I might have kept this. I agree. It was a very short and sweet game. Mm -hmm. uh, it, easy to set up and uh, small space on Tear the table. It down. And it was like the turns went like this because when you roll the dice, it's like, oh, that guy moves tree. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that, move tree, do the thing, I'm done. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Nice game. Yes. Next up, we have... An older game. Yeah, we played it. This has been on the Keeper Kill before. It has. We have kept it before. Yes. Let's see. What happens this what time? What happens this time? One, on Keep or Call. Two. <laughs> Follow us next time on Keep or Call. We should do like trailers. Yes. So we like should. next time before we actually film it. Oh yeah. We'll be like next time. Oh no, that I wasn't no didn't know that would happen and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? One, two, three, boom. Oh, I was almost doing call. But we, it, we're gonna keep this. Was it a mistake or were like... Yes, no, because we've culled so many games. So I've just like had oh, it yeah, cull side up. Cull. Yes. You were just like, oh, we can get rid of all the games ha -ha. now. My new show called Cinema Cull and Cull. Yes. I love Sky. Yeah, I do too, actually. Um, <laughs> I, I, um, I still like I Love Sky, even though it's been in a collection for yeah. a long time. That doesn't... Do That's that. like the reason. <laughs> I don't like games sense. after the five years old. It's like, <laughs> yes. ah, I need to get a new it's one. Like, no, thank you. Well, uh, we played this with some people who hadn't played a lot of games. Yes. And I enjoyed playing it again. Yes. I'm done. That was a great... Thank you for those insights <laughs> about the game. I really liked it. Yes, it's a great they game. They know everything they need to know. It's a tile laying game yes. where you kind of make payment plans for your tiles and then you will get the tiles and other tiles and you place them. I made it better. Yes. Okay, next up we're going to have another game. This is a couple of years old called Land and Versus C. I remember seeing this game and people liking it. It's a tile laying game where you try to score points mm -hmm. as either playing as... Land. Or... C. Or... I don't know. There's a third one for oh, three players, but I don't know what it is. We haven't done that. We played it just two players. No, you, but you also can play four players in team. Oh, but no, I, thank I've you. heard it's goodest with two people. Best. And we did it. And yeah. now paddle. Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Double cow. But I like this. 
Uh, this, you liked it, especially the first time. You this, had so much fun. This is a burn it with fire game for me, or kill it with fire. I Not just, the second I, time we played. I didn't it. like it at all. Not the second time either. Well, the second time I tolerated it. Oh wow! Because we because I think you maybe you maybe I won both times. Maybe yes, that's you why. did. Maybe that's why. But the first time we played the basic game, which was pretty boring. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But the other, I liked really liked the other part where the, you had the scorings of the things. And yeah, that was more what, interesting for yes. sure. I think this episode is going to be the best English episode. Yes. Where we have best English vocabulary and best English speaking. But, but uh, you have these two tiles on in your hand at uh, all uh, times. Actually, no. four. No, two. Yes, because oh, yeah, they're, they're double sided. And the other people only get to see one side. So you can look but at the But it kind of is like Carcassonne in some ways because you're trying to make like an enclosure of your area to score it, uh -huh. like the castles in the, the Carcassonne game. Yes. Did I say castles of Burgundy? The castles of Burgundy. <laughs> no, but that popped into my mind, but there's nothing to do with this. Pop um, Next game. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. It's well, yeah. me. Is there the last one? No. Uh, Two more games. Then we have a big game. Ooh. Wildcatters. I've yes. been wanting to play this again for a long time and it's like it has to be four players and then we play with some people and I was like oh maybe we can play Wildcatters and then we had a couple of games we were like oh, we might need to play this game so I was like I want to play Wildcatters so we did. What yes. a cool story bro. Yeah. Okay let's do the Tell paddle. It again please. Okay. So we were playing I wanted to play Wildcatters and then we did it. Okay. Are you now ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom! I'm calling it. What is going well, on? I'm not because you're going to keep it, obviously. But isn't I just... this in your top 100? No, I don't think so. I think it's like in your top 20. No, <laughs> top I wouldn't 10. remember that. It's my top one, actually. <laughs> it's my favorite game. Of what are you time. doing? This is one of the best games ever made. Yeah, I agree that it's a really good game. Uh, but the, the, I don't know and, who you are. It's... You're tearing me apart. <laughs> and it is. You said it when we played it. This is one of the games that made us like more open to interactive games. Yes. Because we were. <laughs> and care now bears. you're closing that again. No. You're just like I don't like interaction. But when we played it now, because I remember really liking it. But no, when we played it now, I'm just like, ah, mm, I had fun. It is a really good game, but I wouldn't I, I wouldn't choose to play this because it's not my type of game. Why? What is not your type of game? It's hard to explain, but I think... Is it the interaction? I think it's the interaction. <laughs> but because I, it, but is, it is mostly interaction. Yeah, because it, I was thinking, like, um, the only reason I would keep this now, beside it being an objectively good game, um, is because of nostalgia. If I would play this game now for the first time, I was just like, hm, it's good, it's really a great game, but I wouldn't choose to play this because I'm, I'm sitting there being like, this is hard work. <laughs> So it is the interaction problem yeah, because so. people yes. can destroy what you yeah, want to do. Yeah, I don't do. like that. But I love it. It's a fantastic game. I actually, I remember last time I played it, I enjoyed it less than I remembered too, but this time I enjoyed it way more. Huh, it's cool. a fantastic game. Don't listen to people who don't like interaction because this is Please interaction central. Yes. No, I think, I think many people on our channel never heard about this game because it's quite old and nobody has played it. It is really good. If you like interaction in games, and playing games where what other people do actually matters, play this. But you could also lose if somebody sends your oil to you. Because and that is kind of my problem. Because but you should just you, you should just not do things where you use all your shares on buying wildcatters like somebody did. Yeah. And then somebody was like, "Hey, I'm gonna send my oil and to you." And it is the auction thing in the middle of it. I don't like that either. I think I became like part Scottish right now. Yes, okay. it's yes. fantastic. Yes. Let's always play it again. It's the best. Next up, we're going to have another game, and it's called Quadropolis. This is, has always been one of our favorite... Uh, 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 City? Uh, no, the um, builder? What's it called? Tiling? Ta no, the introductory gateway. game. A <laughs> Gateway games. English. Today Board is... Game. I don't know why. I don't know why this video is so hard for English people, but it is. So now let's do the paddle. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. It's okay for me. I was thinking there's going to be calling from you, and it is. But I, 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 I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I did this to kind of be cool. 
Yeah. So and I knew you were going to keep. Like, so. I did the same thing about Go Out Canada. Oh, okay. So, it's fine. so you kind of like yes. you kind of want to keep it, but yeah. you. Know, <laughs> <laughs> we are shallow people. Yes. It's fine. No, because I, but I, if I just played the advanced version and felt the same thing as I did for the basic version, it would be this. Yeah. Because it has given me so much joy, but I don't know when I'm going to choose to play it. Yes. But then again, I'm going to be very happy to keep it. Yeah, I had fun last time we played it. We have talked about this before. We That's have, why so we kind of knew talk about it again. our thoughts from before. Yes. But but uh, I agree. I'm looking forward to play the advanced version. And some of me would keep it even then if I was like a little finished yes. with it because of nostalgia. And we don't actually keep that many games because of that. And we don't have that many board games. So we, yes, have, so we, much, have, so we few. have so much space for board yes. games in our house. And the it, more the better. They're not there. Like so basically we kept the three old games. And the big biggest games. And the, and the biggest kept. new game. So we got four new keeps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cows. Best and worst experience. Do, 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 do. do you wanna begin? Yes. Oh. I'm this always is new. beginning and switching it up. I'm gonna do worst. It's gonna be cheers to the boring man. Like, I, I love when I played it. And I see some people who will have a lot of laughs when they play it, but it's it's not it's not good. Mm. And then best is going to be wildcatters because it's good and not callable. Mm -hmm. And also synergy was really great. I liked it. Thumbs up. I don't know what's happening in this video. No, I'm, I, I'm being so weird. I'm sorry. I guess I I'm uh, yes. We yes. are. But that's like how it is when you see board gaming ramblings. You will get us how we are that day. Because this is how we work. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to speak. say this as well because it isn't a game. <laughs> and so it couldn't be a worse game then. Oh, okay, that's true. <laughs> hmm. Good point. <laughs> it's the Walking Dead, the dice game. Yes. Yes. No, that was actually fine. Do you think there's this other? One. Do you? Oh, you actually like that less? Nah, it was a lot of like this. This and this no, I didn't no. care for. No, but the magic Not school, you like that either. Nah, there's, but the best uh, was uh, I Love Sky. I had most fun with that. And those are the games and this is the end of the video. We appreciate you watching it. We hope you liked it, even though it was kind of weird. And that's going to be the end. If you watch this and you, even though this video, you thought these are cool people, let's do something cool. Like giving them a victory point. And we get victory point when you click the subscribe button. We can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. I don't uh, know what's happening. This is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining us on this uh, exciting ride. And uh, my name is Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching this video on the internet on a board gaming channel on YouTube called Board Gaming <laughs> Ramblings. And bye bye. Bye. <laughs>